All right, Shalom. First of all, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakwadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, peace, and blessing to all you hopeful luck brothers out there that's pushing this truth across the four corners of the globe. All right, I'm the brother and not by Ayasha, the Jim S. Indianapolis camp. Come with another episode to get your mind right. Today we're going to be dealing with, as you see on the screen, trust in the Lord forever. Or just trust in the Lord. You see what I'm saying? Because you got a lot of people out there that's not putting their trust in the Lord. They're putting their trust in everything else but the Lord, like their car. You know what I'm saying? Their their religion. Their uh, wife. Putting her up as a queen of heaven. You know what I'm saying? Your career, your job. You see what I'm saying? You're putting your trust in everything but who you're supposed to put your trust in, and that's the Lord. You held by Shema with shot. But the time is going to come. Or well, you're going to see everybody calling themselves, putting their trust in the Lord then, because they don't want to die. But it's going to be too late, because some of y'all are destined for death. You know what I'm saying? Only the elect of Israel is going to make it through. Let's see here. All right, we're going to start off with Psalms chapter 4, verse 5. It says, Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. So how do you offer your sacrifices of righteousness? Number one, when you offer your body up as a living sacrifice, put your how by Shimei was shot. When you go out there on the housing byways, doing these, uh, as brothers call them, electronic epistles, you know, just in your, your, your conduct in your everyday life reflects the spirit of your how by Shimei was shot. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, Cain brought wicked sacrifices of what? Fruit. That was an unrighteous sacrifice. See what I'm saying? But we bring in what? The real sacrifices, which is, you know, starting off a, a meat offering, which is ourself. You know what I'm saying? Teaching this doctrine, the correct doctrine. You know what I'm saying? We're bringing it before the altar, bringing it before you how about Shemia was shot and all righteousness and sincerity. Because it takes what? Trust, meaning faith in the Lord, for you to even do that. For you to keep teaching in something that the majority that 90% of the world don't believe in. That takes great faith from Yahweh Bashim Shah. But in order to do that, you got to what? Trust in Yahweh Bashim Shah. It's a must. Matter of fact, matter of fact, let's go into that word trust. Trust. It means. Firm belief in the reliability, truth, ability, or strength of someone or something. And that reliability we put our faith in is who? Yahweh, who the world calls God, and Yahweh Shah, who the world calls Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's who we put our reliability in. It said firm belief in the reliability because we can rely on Yahweh Bashim Shah. Remember the scripture said he will never lead thee, leave us nor forsake us. Or fail thee. See what I'm saying? So, hey, <laughs> why not put your trust in that? That's that's guaranteed. Say a firm belief in the reliability, truth, which we're teaching, ability, or strength of someone or something. Because remember, you how about Shemiah Shah had to give you the ability, even to teach his word. See what I'm saying? Like I tell you, in a uh, matter of fact, I get that right quick. Bear with me one second. This wasn't in the script, but <laughs> it's uh first Peter four and eleven. Let me get it right quick. Bear with me. Let's see. First Peter four and eleven says it says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. If any man minister, let him do it as of the what ability which the Most High giveth, that Yahweh by Shemiah was shy and all things may be glorified through Yahweh Shah Mashiach, which is his son's name. They're not the same person. It says, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever among. You see what I'm saying? 
but it said let him do it as of the ability. Ooh, so like it. As of the ability which Yahweh giveth. See what I'm saying? So going back to going back to the word trust, it says, uh, let's see. Trust. Definition. It says firm belief in the reliability, truth, and what ability which the most high giveth to us in order to believe or put our trust or reliability or faith in. It says, or strength of someone or something, relations have to be built on trust. It says, uh, well, it says an arrangement whereby a person, a trustee, holds property as its nominal owner for the good of one or more beneficiaries. And that's who? The elect. The elect of the nation of Israel. We don't want benefiting from offering up these righteous sacrifices. With what? Everlasting life. Even on this side, more knowledge, wisdom, understanding. It says, believe in the reliability, truth, ability, or strength of to allow credit to a customer. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. Let me see. Look up some synonyms. See, we got confidence, belief, faith, freedom from what? Let me see. I don't know. It says certainty. Certainty. Uh, certitude. Assurance, uh, reliance, you know, tell us basically who we put our trust and faith in, who we depend on is who. You held by Shimei, I was shot. Nobody else. See what I'm saying? So going back to Psalms chapter 4, verse 5, it said, Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in. In the Lord, because we don't trust nobody else but who? Yeah, how about she? I was trying to take care of us, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. This is Psalms chapter 7, verse 1. It uh, says, Shigi, Shigion of David, which he sang unto the Lord, concerning the words of Cush the Benjamite. It says, O Lord, Yahweh Bashim, I will shine my power, and thee do I put my trust. See, he didn't say in Buddha, Allah, or I'm in Ra, or the, the booster shot, or the jump shot, or the sea hip. No, it said, Yahweh Bashim, I will shine. O Lord, my power, Yahweh Bashim, I will shine, and thee do I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me. Who was all that, pers- that try to persecute us? Number one on the list is Esau Edom, the so-called white man and his nationality and race of people, which are known as what? The Caucasians of today. Even the Amalekites, the fake Jews. They're the ones that are trying to persecute what? The children of Israel. Bringing them up, bringing them up on trumped-up charges. Locking them up for non-payment of child support. Well, he can't get to work because you suspended his license. Now he can't drive. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So he lost his job because you locked him up for child support. Because he was two months behind in his child support, you locked him up. Well, how is he supposed to get the money? See what I'm saying? Those are the ones that's persecuting us, man. Those are the ones that's trying to keep us down, the ones that's trying to kill us. Number one on the list, like I said, the Esau Edom, the so called white man and his people. Number two is the heathens. Number three is even our own people. Two thirds of our own people, so called Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans, they try to persecute us also. You see what them, them, them little gremlins did to IUIC in the hood? They tried to kill them. And these probably Christians, people straight out the church, pulling guns on, 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 uh, on the Israelites, you know what I'm saying, on the brothers, and high heel shoes, bashing them in the head. 
but but these folks be Christians. But they but they were people of our own nation, the so called Negro Latino Native American children of Israel that was attacking them, just like uh Lord told Jeremiah. Matter of fact, I get it. Matter of fact, I will get it. That was the kill of the prophets. Those that killed the prophets. Google don't want to act right. Those that killed the prophets. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Where is it at? Ain't it? Yeah, that's it. The water y'all bust your mouth shut. This is, let me see, Matthew 23 and 37. Let me see. Bear with me one second. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to move fast as I can. Matthew 23 and 37. Sometimes, it, you know, the internet, the uh, phone don't want to act right, especially when you're doing the work of the Lord. There we go, finally. Bear with me one second. Matthew 23, 37. This is Matthew 23 and 37. It says, O Jerusalem, which is a people before the place. So you so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, y'all make up the city of Jerusalem. It said, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets. See, even back in the ancient times, you y'all was the ones that what killed us that came up against the men of the Lord, our own people. And you wonder why you have a shot had gray, a full head of gray, gray hair and gray beard at the age of thirty three, man, because y'all niggas was worrying the hell out of, just like today, man. You, 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 I mean, look, we try to give you the word, try to give you the, the 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 ticket to get you the bus right out of here on, of salvation, but y'all throw it away. You spit in our face. No, I don't want your help. I do it on my own. <laughs> well, the scripture said there is a way that seems right unto man, but the end thereof is what? Destruction. Sin. Death. Evil. Because you're trying to do it your own way. Matter of fact. Let me get another scripture. Matter of fact. This is, let me see, let me get it right quick. Proverbs 3 and 5, it said, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. I'm going to say it one more time. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, meaning all your mind, and lean not unto thine own understanding. Don't try to do it your way, man. Trust in the Lord. Trust me, he get you out of that jam every time, man. I know I'm a living witness. All you got to do is what? Trust in him, man. Trust and believe that he, he's going to get you out of that situation, man. Matter of fact, Psalms 18 and 2. The Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, I was shy, is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my power, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. All those are synonyms and, and uh, uh, anonyms for what? Protection. See what I'm saying? Strength. Attributes of what? Protection. That's why we trust in Yahweh by Shimei Oshai. Because when it's all said and done, he's the only one that's going to be able to protect you or deliver you or save you. Or, or to allow you to fight another hour to live. Is your how about Shimia was shot? Matthew 
there's no other force or power out there that's could even come compared or even come close to the protection of your house by Shema if you if you trust in them. Tell me I'd rather trust in oppression or trust in this society's military or just trust in this society, period. This society lets you down on every side, man. This is Psalm 18 and 30. As for Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh His way is what? Perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. Because <laughs> can't nobody debunk the word of the Lord, man. I don't care how you come with your own twist or analogy. You know what I'm saying? Your own little definitions. It still won't trump this truth. <laughs> the word of the Lord, man, takes a licking and keep on ticking. You know what I'm saying? You can't, man, you can't come against the Lord's word. You could try, but you'll never succeed. You may think you reached an epiphany trying to debunk the, the doctrine of Yahweh by Shema of Shai and get embarrassed every time. It says, Psalm 18 and 30, as for Yahweh by Shema of Shai, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that what? Trust in him. You trust in him and believe in him? You got your faith in you? How about you, Mount Shai? He got your back. That's something you ain't got to worry about. Matter of fact, that's the spirit. Psalm 20 and 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our power. See, so a lot of people trust in what? Their cars, their military. They trust in this government. You know what I'm saying? They trust in their job. They trust in Esau. They trust these two-thirds of the world. But they don't trust you, though. Nope, they don't trust you. How about Shema Shai or his servants? Nah. Nah. We too much like right for them to trust us. Psalm 25 and 2. O oh, my power, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Why? Because we trust in you. How about you now? Shot. So even the things that we talk about, guess what? The Lord never, never, ever put us in an embarrassing moment. You see what I'm saying? Why? Because we trust in him too much. Why wouldn't he have our bet? We trust in him. And everybody else's doctrine is what? Flawed. That's why when people say wacky stuff, you instantly get angry like, man, that ain't how it's supposed to be. That ain't what the Bible says. But you keep your cool, your calm, cool, collective self. You keep yourself spiritual. Even though you want to get carnal, you still keep it spiritual. And guess what? The word of your heart about Shema Shia stands true every time, man. Every time. See what I'm saying? So you people like that, hey, just keep pushing your trust in the Lord, man. The Lord never leave you nor forsake you, man. He never, he never, ever, 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 ever have you out there looking bad, man. You have yourself looking bad, but the Lord won't let you look bad if you trust in Him, man. See what I'm saying? So you keep your trust in the Lord. Hey, everything else will be all right, man. See what I'm saying? So with that, above, above, hey, shallow one.